Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button down below to make sure you do stay up to date with more Call of Duty Modern Warfare content and a like is always appreciated as well. But anyway, straight into the video guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best possible class setup you can have inside of Modern Warfare. As we all know, this game is run primarily by ARs. Um, they seem to be everywhere in Windows, but this class setup really does compete with them and gives you a lot more uh, ability to be more versatile with your gunfights and be quick at the same time. Hopping straight into the primary weapon, we have the MP5, probably the best SMG in this game. I've not managed to try the Uzi, the buys and the MP7. In fact, yeah, I have. I've used them in gunfight. Definitely nowhere near as good as this one. Hopping straight into the attachments. On the barrel, we have the FFS Light attachment. I don't see the need for suppressors in this game as the minimap doesn't work exactly like it used to, so people aren't as observant where your gunfire is coming from that's for sure me myself i'm not anyway i don't know if you guys are but i'm pretty sure you're not uh, this increases the aim down aim down sight speed in exchange for bullet velocity aim down sight speed is incredibly useful in this game and important uh, the time to kill is incredibly fast as we all know and being able to get them to sights up before your opponents and land shots before your opponent is going to be the difference between winning or dying and winning them gunfights is so important aim down sight speed if you can increase it any way possible you need to believe me we don't have anything else on a laser t uh, optic or a stock i never offer stocks on smgs unless it was a sword back in black ops 4 and that's an exception but anyway under barrel we have the commando foregrip it increases recoil stabil stabilization and aiming stability in exchange for movement speed but these aren't noticeable cons at all you don't notice a decrease in movement speed whatsoever obviously using an smg so primarily you're moving fast anyway a lot faster than a lot of people are using ars and being able to increase your recoil stabilization and your aiming stability being able to be more accurate and land them shots is so important as well going back to the fact that time to kill is so important being able to land the shots more consistent is going to make such a huge difference in winning them gunfights ammunition i've opted for the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags Increased damage, increased range for decrease of fire rate and aiming recoil control. You can ignore the aiming recoil control as we have the other attachments to compensate that to sort of balance it back out. Fire, fire rate, the decrease in that is not noticeable whatsoever. I have not noticed it. It's such a small fraction as you can see on the stats down below. It's such a small fraction of the fire rate. It is not noticeable whatsoever. And increased damage in range, like I said, the time to kill, this is going to be so so important and you can still be able to see that in the gameplay as well when i do manage to get a lot of long range kills with this thing it makes a huge huge difference uh you could opt for the extended mags but it does decrease the aim down sight speed and the movement speed um like i said the aim down sight speed is such a big factor in this game for the rear grip i've gone for the rubberized grip tape just for the fact it increases recoil control in exchange for aiming stability we have attachments to compensate the aiming stability so in the extra recoil control, like I said, more accurate, you're going to be able to land them shots a lot easier. And for the perk, I do have no money, just for additional XP for kills. When you get a headshot, you're going to get that extra bit of XP. But if I was going to choose, the only reason I've got it on is because I want to rank up fast. Uh, I would go for frangible, because bullets cause target healing to be briefly delayed. Like I said, the time to kill, ever so quick in this game. If you can stop someone from healing up, then why not? It's going to be so, so important, especially if you're in a longish range gunfight if you can get some shots off you would be able to push this guy he's not going to be able to heal he's going to be weak he's going to be one shot let's be honest and you're going to be able to pick up that kill easy as anything i'll put that on for the purpose of this video because uh, that's what you do want to be using secondary we've got the magnum the 357 two hit kill insane secondary you're probably not using it too much but it's there if it's needed two hit kill such a good weapon perks we have scavenger obviously you want to make sure we've got as much ammo as we can at all times perk two ghost this is obviously a must as i said the radar is not the same as it used to be so uavs are so important in this game a lot of people are using them uh, so being able to be undetectable by uavs and heartbeat sense and all that other kind of stuff especially snapshot grenades i've used come across a lot of people using snapshot grenades it's going to be so so important and make a huge huge difference battle hardened for perk free like i say another must in this class so i wouldn't opt for any other perk free in this game for the fact it reduces the strength of enemy flash grenades, stun grenades and EMPs. Ignore the EMP grenades, but the flashes and stuns in this game, oh my life, they're so overpowered, they're getting thrown constantly, you're flashed constantly, and this reduces the time on it, so it makes a lot of a big difference. Uh, lethal is the frag and the stun, 
Uh, the reason I've got stun is because I'm doing a challenge, but you can have the flash grenade as well. The flash grenade is a lot better than the stun. And obviously the frags in this game are insane. They remind me a lot of the Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, you know, COD 4 days, modern frag grenades. Uh, they were so overpowered in that game, and just like in this game, these are so, so overpowered, believe me. But we're going to hop straight into a game, guys. I'm going to show you what the MP5 can do. Believe me, it's insane. I promise you that. It does not disappoint. Let's hop straight into a gameplay, guys. Let's freaking go. Okay, guys, we are on Gunrunner. We have dropped in a little bit late. We are losing right now, so hopefully we can turn this game around. Uh, this is not my preferred map. It's probably one of my least favourite maps in that guy's camping back there. I'm not going to challenge that because that guy's just going to be just going to gun me down. Um, that one of my favourite maps, but I'm happy to be playing it because all I've been doing is playing Ramaza constantly, and it's oh wow, and it's so so annoying. Um, playing the same map over and over again. I feel like there's no, like, literally no, hardly any maps in this game. There's like five maps. And it's such a shame. Like, we've got the three maps in the beta and like three other maps of six maps. Uh, excuse my maths. Um, Alright, let's see if we can nade this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, okay, I got a shot from the side. Um, but, um, yeah, it's so annoying playing the same maps. Like, they need to really add some new maps. ASAP. I have heard they're adding some classic maps, so I've been told. I hope that does come into effect pretty quick. Uh, this guy here. Oh my god, I can't even hit my shots today. Just feeling a bit iffy with the shot right now. But I've not been, not since been long since I actually hopped on. So, you know, we're still warming up. We're still warming up. Hopefully, this can be the game where we warm up. But this game, for me, is such a slow, a slower game. Um, Going from Black Ops 4 to this is so crazy, in my opinion. Um, from zipping around the map and lasering kids to, I don't know, walking the map and pre-aiming everything. It's such a big jump and why is that stun just stuck to the door? It happened to me last time. You guys stole the stun stuck to the door, trust me. It's so annoying. Like, you got to be so cautious playing this game. And it's a, sh it's a shame. Like, where's this guy popping from? I don't know. It is a massive shame. And the games last forever as well. Every game's going to time that I play. Um, even when I have a killer gameplay and I'm dropping 30 kills, it still wants to go to time like everybody else is just playing so, so slow. And the reason I'm playing so slow now is because we don't have any map control. Um, hence the reason I'm getting beamed and bodied everywhere. We don't have any map control. So... In this game, the spawns are set in stone. You spawn in the... Is there a guy back there? In the same place every single time. Um, and it's hard to actually regain map control. Um, I mean, it's not too bad, but I've had it before where the enemies have just dominated the map and they've pushed so far up. Um, you can't even get out of our spawn. And it's such, so, it's like, the most annoying thing ever. I'm sure you guys have experienced it anyway. But, how's this guy getting away, man? I'm going to reload, I'm dead. But the spawns in this game are just so annoying, you just can't move sometimes, it's literally so frustrating. This guy's going to get shot punched, punch shot even should I say, not as effective as it was in Black Ops 4, that's for sure, that's such an effective thing, crazy. Oh, we're actually dropping in a chopper gunner right now, so hopefully we can, we can bring the scoreboard back, I hope. I wish it was me in the chopper, but unfortunately it's not. And I just can't seem to find anyone to shoot at. These guys are camping. Just sitting in corners, two of them. Uh, I've got a UAV, it's going to help. Oh man, no way I would have been able to do anything there. There's all there, this guy's going to shoot chopper and I should go off there, I hope. Doesn't seem to be doing too well. We've actually got the lead, alright, okay, weird. We're 10 kills in front. That's what I like get the win. I've not been winning too many games in this game and my KD in this game is... Oh, what's this guy doing? This is why my KD is so awful in this game. It's not awful, awful, but it's nowhere near as what it used to be in Black Ops 4 at the minute. I know the game's early and it's still getting used to, but I don't I don't expect people to be in the places they're in. It's, it, it is super annoying. This guy getting bodied. I think that battle explodes if we can hit some shots on it. Yeah, it did explode. I think. I don't know. 
Now that this guy was waiting for me. Like I think that would never have happened in Black Ops 4. Well, that guy would have moved on. He would have just, just ran somewhere else. I, th I think that's why. Okay. I'm gonna get shot in the back. I could, I could feel it. Someone coming from behind. Uh, I'm low on ammo. Ah, shouldn't challenge that. I don't think. Stupid. Obviously, I shouldn't have challenged it. I died, man. But such a stupid push, which is a shame. It's actually my second time recording this video as well, because my Elgato seems to be messing up big time. Really, uh, recently, I record a video, and as soon as I stop recording the video, like it doesn't delete itself, but it says there's nothing there. Like I can click the. Vi oh wow. Okay, I can click the video I've um just recorded but there's no footage it's just black it's just a black screen so I hope this doesn't happen again I, I can't tell until I finish press and record I keep flicking back on the Elgato which says it's recording but is it recording I don't know that's the question so annoying looks like this game is coming to an end one more kill not the best of games it was a pretty slow game I didn't even see anyone to shoot but seriously guys you need to try this class setup out for yourself, believe me, it is insane. Okay guys, we are back in the lobby. Trust me, you need to try this class setup for yourself, but I'm going to have to unfortunately end the video right here. I am very sorry, but if you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all Modern Warfare news, insane gameplays, insane class setups, all that stuff. Just let me know what you want to see and I'll bring it to you as soon as I possibly can. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you leave a like. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace. Girl, I ain't got no chill.